Okay, this is a demonstration of how to convert a Minecraft Java Edition world to a Minecraft Education Edition world. So the first thing you're going to need is the old version of the MCC tool chest, uh, the version that was made for the Pocket Edition, which is uh, came out several years ago and has a different set of conversion tools. So if you go to help on about, you can check your version here, and it should be something like 1.1.1.8. One point, one um, and this is important because you have different conversion options here. You have this convert to Java and convert to Bedrock. Uh, the other versions of this, this utility will have a different set of options here. So if you get that, then you were using the wrong version. Uh, so today I'm actually gonna show that you can convert a 1.16 world to an older version, a 1.14 world for Education Edition. Uh, now, some blocks may not show up, things may not convert completely, but that's okay, we can get pretty close. So uh, in this case, I'm gonna go here to tools and we're gonna do to Bedrock. Bedrock is the general overall version for Education Edition as well as the Bedrock version, which is what shows up on the iPads and Xbox and so on. So I'm gonna need to select a folder that I'd like to convert. Uh, and now this is going by default to my local Minecraft saves directory. So I have a bunch of different files in here. Um, and I know one of these, this Northern Archipelago one here, should be a recent 1.16 world uh, that I'm gonna convert. It's a very large world. Uh, I go ahead and hit convert and it's gonna take a second here. Okay, picking this back up. Once you're done, you should have this uh, conversion status. You can actually modify this level.dat further if you need to. You can see the different chunks available in the world. But in this case, I'm gonna go to save as. Uh, the previous process that I was doing this, I was doing an export with an MC world export. That doesn't seem to work consistently. So I've had more luck doing save as, and then we create a new world. And we're gonna give this a human looking name. So I'm gonna call this stemc is our grant. So we're gonna call this stemc uh, overall world. So now we have to go then fetch this world out of the secret directories that are hard to find and they don't really want you to know about. So uh, all of our Java worlds here show up under app data and roaming. Uh, this is going to place the world in the bedrock user files. So on my handy dandy guide here on the STEM C website, uh, you can go fetch that location. Um, and I'm actually just gonna plop that into a run prompt, which should right here drop me into the world directory. So, and you can see here, I have the STEM C overall world here. Um, and I can either copy or cut that. Um, and what I'm going to then do is paste this into the Minecraft Education Edition directory. So same drill, I go with the run prompt, open that up. Now there's a, a few different places this could go, but we wanna go into Minecraft worlds. That's the local user save worlds. And you can see how, look at how these are named. They're really terrible, terrible names. Uh, but I can copy this one and paste it over here with a very human looking, easy to understand name. And that is still okay. Um, if you're not sure and you have a world that has like a one of these gobbledygook names, you can sort by date modified and that might be able to, you might be able to figure it out with that. So I've now converted that world and pasted it over and I should be able to now go to education edition here. If you do it while the game is running, the world may not show up. I found it's better to do it when the game is not running. I think it loads them all at the beginning and here you can see stem C overall world and I should be able to play this. And here I am in the world that I just have just converted over. And in case you were uh, curious if it really is that world and not one that just randomly generated, you can see this island here that we actually generated very specifically and uh, custom with custom terrain. Now, not all of it shows up. In this case, I think it's a nether-based island and parts of that are supposed to be on fire, I believe. So it probably has removed some blocks. So things may not look exactly like you want. Uh, but you can get pretty darn close and it, it gets you at least the general structure. And if you're using blocks that have not changed block ID or type significantly in a significant amount of time, uh, then you should be good. So that is my guide.